James, meanwhile, you've been as horrified as me. I've, I've, I've seen you on the Outsiders, read your stuff, by the mental decline of US President Joe Biden. Now, it's so bad, this is more for viewers, I know that you're on top of this, that his mind has shut up Pres uh, British Prime Minister Boris Johnson during a meeting with Biden and chased out the journalists when Johnson had invited them to ask some questions that perhaps Biden couldn't handle. Have a look. I think nobody wants to see anything that uh, interrupts or uh, unbalances the, the Belfast Good Friday uh, Accords. That's the uh, Belfast Good Friday Agreement. That's, that's the... Oh, that, I, I, I think In fact, this fear of exposing Biden to questioning had Biden asking the Indian Prime Minister later not to ask for questions as well, which his spokesman had to later explain away. Let me show you both clips. The Indian press is much better behaved than the American press. <laughs> I think, with your permission, you should not answer questions because they won't ask any questions on point. I know that isn't uh, something that anyone wants to hear uh, in here. And some of the questions are not always about the topic he's talking about in that day. James Morrow, have... explain to us what's going on here. Well, I have never seen anything like this. I mean, in all my years of watching American presidents, um, Australian prime ministers, you have never seen anybody like this. A president say, please don't ask us questions. Please don't ask me questions like this. You might see the prime minister here say, oh, well, you know, look, we're taking questions about COVID. Then we can go on to other matters later. But I've never seen anything like this. I'm, I have been... Andrew, very hesitant, reluctant to diagnose from afar because, you know, a lot of people tried to do this to Trump when he was president and say, oh, look, he spilled his water. You know, there's something wrong. But the fact of the matter is it is unignorable anymore that there is something happening with Joe Biden's mental faculties. I don't know what it is. Um, there's some suspicion that he may have had some medical episode that's not being talked about at some point, you know, in the last year or so that has seen his cognitive facilities uh, decline. But it's not just me saying this. A Pew poll has found that only, and this is amazing even, that the pollsters are asking about this. A Pew poll found last week 43% of Americans, only 43% think that Joe Biden's mental faculties are all there, that he's very sharp in the words of the poll. 56% of people said that there's something wrong with the guy. Um, this is shocking that po pollsters even have to ask the question. So, we really have to wonder, how long can Joe Biden last in office? And is his best defense basically the uh, idea of President Kamala Harris? Oh, <coughs> oh, you've just frightened me. Well, you just give it a trigger warning on the, <coughs> these things. But you're quite right. It's, for me, it's not just... It's almost like beyond why it's happening. The fact that you have a president who's scared of being questioned like this, that's yep. astonishing. Like you said, I can't recall another president uh, running away from questions so consistently. But uh, let me just... You, you raise the question. Let me uh, see if you can answer it. Uh, how long do you think Joe Biden can go on? He's got three and a bit, <coughs> half, nearly half years uh, still to serve. Well, I mean, God help us all, three more years, three more years and a bit to serve in this term. I don't think he makes out his full term, frankly. Um, he's... You know, he's an older fellow, but he's an elderly older fellow. He doesn't seem fit. He doesn't see, you know, he's not vigorous. We've had uh, older presidents before. Donald Trump was, you know, in his late 70s, but he was quite physically vigorous. Uh, Reagan, up until almost the end, was very vigorous. And when he didn't want to answer questions because, you know, uh, there was something too hot that he didn't want to handle, he'd make like he couldn't hear over the chopper, tap his watch, and make a joke of it. <laughs> but Joe Biden, you know, he's got none of that. You look into his eyes in those clips, Andrew, and there's that sort of, you know, dead black eyes sort of thing happening. I don't know really what's happening with him in these sort of crowd situations. I've heard some people say in his defense that he's better behind closed doors one-on-one. -on -one. But really, honestly, I'm with you. I don't know how much longer he can last. I don't think he makes out his full term. Um, I suspect they try to keep him going at least through the midterms next year and then swap him out and try and have some other plan to uh, to keep the White House in 2024 because those 2022 midterms next November at this stage are not going to go well for the Democrats. That could be the excuse they would have, almost like a parliamentary kind of thing to say, uh, well, 
you know, that yeah, didn't go no, well in the house right. and, you know, you can move them on after that. Yeah, except, uh, James, I even think that, uh, what is it, November, that's uh, 14 months away, even that's going to be a stretch for him uh, to get him to reach up to, to that point. Uh, thank you very much for your time, James Morrow.